Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Spec Ops The Line on the PC on FUBAR difficulty, and this is my guide and walkthrough for the hardest difficulty. We are currently on Chapter 1. It's, it is entitled The Evacuation. Now, I am going to be leaving out the prologue. Just um, the, re the reason for that is just because I wanted to start the game immediately where the chapter title screen came up. I will be addressing how to vault over cover while you're sprinting because the first time I went through this game recently to unlock this difficulty, I missed that tooltip. Um, but I do know how to do it and I will remember to uh, tell you guys how to do that. Um, now, a couple of things. Um, I will be including the epilogue, which is... Um, it isn't officially a, a chapter 16, so I'm not going to be seeing any particular chapter out of fifth, out of 16 when I address my videos. I'll just be saying, you know, chapter one out of 15, chapter two out of 15. So I am I, I am going to be covering the epilogue, but I'm going to um, not say chapter 16 because it's not officially chapter 16, and you don't have to do it. It's a very difficult chapter, and the difficulty. Let's just. Please don't overly worry about this difficulty. As as I think I mentioned last time, it is it is extremely difficult. There's there's no doubt about that. There are times when you're gonna be you're gonna be getting really upset. And one of the reasons is the the loading screens aren't what I hope they would be. I think they're somewhat shortened from the PS3 and the 360 versions, but they're still they should be about half as half as fast as they are. Honestly, for a PC version. It should have been optimized a little bit better because while they aren't long, they're not very brief, and I, I get upset about them. But the not see the nice thing about um, about this difficulty, and it isn't really about the difficulty itself. It's that to unlock this difficulty, you have to defeat um, the 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 difficulty right beneath it, which is called Suicide Mission, and Suicide Mission ain't easy. It really isn't. It's quite hard. So, I don't think, honestly, um, even like the average person playing this game, I don't think you're going to have a big jolt when you start playing this difficulty. Because to unlock it, I mean, unless someone else unlocked it, or if you had a cheat to unlock it, or something like that, I don't know if you can do that. You you might be able to. You can look into it if you want to just quickly start this difficulty. I don't think you can, though. But, uh, the... The thing that I, that I, and the reason why I say there's probably not going to be a huge jolt when you play this is that, uh, like I said, Suicide Mission, the difficulty right below it is very difficult. I mean, you're going from a difficulty that's quite hard to one that's pretty damn brutal. And I know that that's all subjective and it's really hard to say, well, it's, it's this amount of hard. It's hard to quantify something that's not physical. So it's... It's just something that I'm trying to convey to you person to person. This difficulty, um, it is going to bother you. The load screens are going to bother you. The fact that teammates fall down in cover even when you're not putting them directly in risk by assigning them targets to kill. I just went through, um, I, you know, I, I went through suicide mission to unlock this mode because I had to. And I, I, I made a point of not assigning too many um, enemies for my teammates to focus on because I wanted to test it out and there were still a lot of times when my teammates fell in combat and I wasn't putting them in jeopardy. Now what it, what does putting them in jeopardy mean? Putting them in jeopardy means assigning them targets to kill because then they have to, to move their position sometimes to go out of their way to line up a shot to kill them. Now, uh, Lugo is the one that does the sni sniping assistance. I also think he's the designated medic, you know, unless he falls in combat. And, and Adams is the one that um, does the uh, the heavy artillery usage, and he um, he throws the stun grenade when you're getting over overwhelmed, when the game thinks you're getting overwhelmed, and it says uh, it gives you the RB prompt to throw a stun grenade. I'm pretty sure it's him that does that. Um, so y you are going to be in for some, some pretty hellacious, um, ordeals on this difficulty. I've already gone through it. I've already done a guide for this. Um, and it was, it's been my, um, it's actually been my pleasure these days to, um, to do guide reduxes, to improve the quality, to go, because I, the, the, 
I could not suffer to play this in the in 2018. I could not suffer to play this game in 30 frames per second. Like I had no idea what I was even talking about back in 2012, and I will be very apologetic about this. Also, one of these guys rushes you too when you get on this turret. The, the great thing about the turrets is that you can crouch, and it's, it's essentially you're blind firing at that point, but you're protecting yourself and you can shield yourself from getting damaged. But um, over here, they want you to equip a silencer, if you want to. Now, uh, there are about four weapons that have uh, silencers on them. The, the micro 9mm, this SMG, it has a silencer on it, and the... Um, the other gun that you start out with, it's, um, I can't, I don't know the name of it right now. If I, if I switch to it, I can see it. It's the main weapon in the game. It's, it's more common even than the AK-47. Oh, the M4A1. The M4A1, uh, its alternate fire is a silencer, as is the, um, the SMGs. Um, sometimes, uh, you, you might have saw that I passed on the shotgun. I, I don't really, it's kind of funny when I play this game. Sometimes I, I will judge a, a gun based on its reticle. And if the reticle doesn't agree with me, I don't, I, I don't use the gun. Um, and that, and that can be a, a problem. Um, and also on this difficulty, it, it isn't, if you've played Brutal Difficulty or if you see my coverage of Brutal Difficulty where I say that you can't aim on Brutal Difficulty, you you actually you can aim on this difficulty, which is to say that um, you you don't always have to be doing the third person cover trick on, on this game. You simply don't because you do get time enough to kill enemies before you're just instantly put down, like on brutal difficulty. But um, you have to watch out for the clipping when you're doing the third person cover trick. But the main thing that you want to do is you want to try to to train yourself to um because this is a squad based shooter you you're the commander of this three man squad and you need to tell your teammates what to do so the more um the more you delegate responsibility to your teammates intelligently the more you're going to see yourself getting through these situations successfully now the more you you just throw them to the wolves and make them do everything that's the, the moment when you're going to get really frustrated because then they're going to be instantly getting put down. Now, I fully realize, I just, I completely can sympathize with, with um, when you're going through the game and you're not putting them in any peril, when you're just having them, you're not making them do a single damn thing outside of the normal scope of what they do by themselves. Um, you're also going to get another checkpoint over here. Uh, this this is a hard area because you have to get to cover and um, every time that I tried to sprint to cover I, I couldn't get to it before getting put down so if you see what I did right there I, I did a 180 turn which uh, which was a real mystery to me at first until I figured it out by myself how to do it because it certainly isn't anything that's ever told to you how to do and I couldn't see it on the internet anywhere but you want to know the trick about doing the 180 turn it, you press away from the character with the left analog stick and then you double tap A. It does the 180 that way. And then I crouch. And then I designate um, my teammates to do the work for me over here. Now, it's not like I'm going to be doing this all the time, but um, they're going to be helpful in, in clearing out these two initial enemies so that I can safely come up here and get behind cover. Because if you just come up here and run to cover, you're probably going to get killed. You saw that I didn't get killed when I came up here last time on my previous guy, but that was just sheer luck. It was just complete luck. And it, it looks like what I've done over here is I've 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 switched um, from the micro, the 9mm, and I've picked up the AK-47. I really like the AK-47. It's got an auto mode, which does complete spray damage, has quite a bit of recoil to it. And it's also got a 3 bullet burst mode for more precision based shooting with less recoil and um it's also i think it's also i think it's designed for if you're doing um long range more like medium to long range combat excuse me that's what i believe it's there for so that's that's about the summation of the first chapter guys I, I know i had to talk about some extraneous things that weren't related to gameplay but this is a fairly simple chapter and there are going to be longer chapters that we can actually delve more into the mechanics but this is just a first 
chapter. It's an introductory video. We'll have plenty of time to talk about other things in the other videos uh, because things will get increasingly difficult. But um, for Big Benedict Productions, I, I welcome you to my new project, to this guide Redux. This has been Chapter 1, and I will see you in Chapter 2. Until then, please do take care.